Now we're going to start putting a few extra holes in here using techniques you might not have seen before and we'll swivel this round uh, there's six holes here to put in a hole at the bottom there for our strap a hole at a strange angle on a curve here for the strap and four holes to fix the neck now these are countersunk with a rather odd angle of 82 degrees so we'll figure out how to do 82 degree countersinks which are on the far side actually the holes go through but the countersinks are on the far side so let's get started with with these six holes so we'll start with first hole and we see they are 0 0.104 diameter by 1.1 deep choose the surface and I see I've got snap on here so we'll turn that off snap We'll start our first wall. Put one zero four point one. Not a very big hole. Now we'll make another another five of these. With the move tool. Now, the whole six of them are five equal spaces at 0.444 equals 2.22. Now we're going to make a pattern here, so we'll select create pattern and then we'll start dragging the whole. If it'll drag, there we go. Right now we just type in 2.22 tab and that locks that distance in and then tab to the count. Now with this count you don't have to worry about how many two how many extra ones you want to put in because thinking you've already got that one and that one appears there this count is the total number of circles you need which is six return and there's our six holes equally spaced if we remove the drawing there we are so now we can pull those to a depth of 1.1 pull Select one, oh. control key and select the others. And then drag them down, which tells them which direction the dimension needs to go. So it's 1.1. One one. Done. And there's the holes to a depth. The next hole is fairly simple. It's the one round here on this face here. So if we select the face and drag it over here. And what we'll look and see what the hole is. Put this drawing back in. Point one zero four diameter again, three quarters deep. That's difficult to see, but it is point one zero four three quarters deep. Uh, 
and it's right through the middle of this which I'll put the snap the grid get in the centre of it oops Five three quarters, and there is six holes, one for there. Now comes the awkward one. Now, down here, we have to put a hole at an angle of 30 degrees on a curved surface at half the thickness of the body so we need some construction lines we'll construct it and start it here drag it out so we just need our 30 degrees so tab to the angle 30 Now we can go to design mode. Take away the drawing. Select mode and select our construction line. We want a section on that, X and V. Oops, we've gone off. So we've got a section along our construction line and we need to put a center for the hole we want to make so we'll choose just an ordinary line and we'll get a handy center for the center of this line and we can draw our center uh, it has to be three quarters deep so 0.75 return escape now we want a little bit on the end of here to play with so we're going to select the end or oh, don't mean that we need move tool and pull it out just a tad that's it so design mode and there's our little center line sticking out now we can see our center line for the hole poking out here that's the whole thing so we want to put a circle on here that we can pull through so simply select circle and find the end of the line and we see a plane pops up click and we've got a plane which passes through the, the end of that line. Now we see it. So we can draw a circle on it now. Point one zero four. pull select it we're going to pull it along a trajectory trajectory not easy to say that after you've had a few now it's asking us up here pick a trajectory to sweep along there it is cut and full pull We'll get rid of the surface, get rid of the curves, and we've got a hole. Right, 
right where we want it. Nice edge. Hole there and a hole there. Now we want some holes over here. I just noticed that I'd accidentally deleted the center line, so I'll put it back in here in case you're wondering how it got back there. There it is. Uh, so we'll make it all faces, we'll put the picture back. So we're going to put these four holes in. They measure 1.5 apart that way, 2 inches, and 0.625 from the back of this cutout. Now here's an interesting thing. Suppose I want to draw a circle with reference to a distance from this intersection or halfway around this curve. Select circle find the halfway point press shift I get a reference point but I can only reference in the vertical direction and I want to be able to re reference in both X and Y so we'll cancel that so if we put a helper line in just anything from there to there and if we choose the circle again for some reason <clears throat> if we go to the end of a straight line press the reference the shift key we get a horizontal and vertical reference dimensions from the end of a straight line but not from halfway around the curve Horizontally we want minus 0.625 tab and vertically 0.75 and it's already asking us for a dimension for the diameter. Now then I'm going to say 0.25 and I'll tell you why later. That's not the size of the hole but I'm going to put 0.25 in. Now I'm going to move this. Uh, and hold the control key, move down 1.5 control key, select the other one pull across holding the control key 2 inches Now what's the use of that you might ask? Well we select that one and the rest holding the control key. Cut and drag. and we have gone right through put your thinking that's the wrong size hole 0.166 diameter 4 holes ah but it's saying a quarter diameter countersink at 82 degrees obviously that's important for the fitting which I don't know about but I'm going to put this 82 degree chamfer or countersink in just to demonstrate one of the DSM tools. Now that's on the far side so we turn the whole thing over. Now this may seem to be doing things backwards but we've started with the diameter of the countersink which was quarter diameter and now we're going to put our countersink in of 82 degrees 
and the tool we're going to use for this is the draft tool over here draft so we select it and we need to click on the surface first then highlight the bore and we get this dandy little curved arrow pointing somewhere and it's offering us a degree now the, the chamfer is half of the countersunk angle so 82 half that 41 return so what we've achieved is like a little co inverted cone shape in there so we're going to do that with the other three draft surface highlight the bore 41 return draft surface highlight the bore 41 draft surface highlight the bore 41 so we've got like four dimples And the next job is to put the holes back in. In the normal way with the circle. Point one six six six. One six six. Six six. Six six pull control click control click control click drag and there's our four holes countersunk at eighty two degrees just to prove things select that bore X for a section. Now we've got a section V. Where is it? There we are. If we there we are, eighty two degrees down here is what we require so that's uh, this part finished i uh, hope you enjoyed it hope it's all going to be useful to you uh, catch you later bye